to start, I'm gonna be taking this 100% pure BB cream. Um, it has SPF in it, so it's good for the daytime and um, it gives off a pretty glowy complexion, so I really like to use this. I got a pimple that popped right there, so it really hurts. So I'm actually really excited because this week on Tuesday, Jimmy and I are going home. <laughs> um, we're going to, we're both from Dallas, so we're gonna go see our families for Thanksgiving. And I'm also trying not to talk like super, super loud because, because Corey's sleeping right next to me. It's Sunday, so they're watching football and having a lazy day. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna do my brows. And I always have been using, um, this has replaced my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. It's this 100% pure brow gel powder type thing. And I just use a brush like this that's kind of angled like that. And I outline and fill in my brows. So I went on Instagram Live yesterday and Man, I like never go on Instagram live, but I went on Instagram live yesterday and um, you guys, a lot of you guys are asking me what anime I've been watching recently. And I just started watching this one called, I'm all caught up, it's called June Tyson. And it's a, it's a pretty gory action anime and it's about, these um, people who are assassins and they come from families that, I guess, families of assassins and they represent certain zodiacs. So all 12 of them come together to represent their families in like a battle royale and then they basically have to kill each other and achieve a certain goal. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna be a short anime. I read that it's only 12 episodes and it's only on episode seven, but it's, really good it's pretty unpredictable i would say like the people that i think are gonna survive don't survive um yeah but that just might be me being not very good at predicting scenarios all right so when i'm done with my brows then i do my eyes and i am using this the bomb palette it's called la bomba <laughs> that's so cute and it looks like this. It just has some four pretty basic colors. It's very fall to me. I really like it. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to be taking this shimmery shade called Salsa. And I'm just going to put this all over my lids. Wow, that's pretty. Let me scoot in. Just go on like this. And then I'm gonna be taking this Luxie brush and it is 231 Small Tapered Blending. Um, a lot of you guys ask me what brushes I use to do my makeup for my eyes and it really just depends. Like, I really like the shape of this one but I have another one by Real Techniques that's really good. Um, maybe I'll talk about that whenever I'm vlogging or something. Um, but I'll let you guys know what brushes I really like to use. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna be taking this brown one called flamenco and I'm gonna be putting this on the outer parts of my eye So this is kind of like My everyday Instagram look so this is like what I kind of do whenever I want to take like a selfie or um, I'm doing like an outfit picture and I need to do my makeup really fast or something. This is kind of the look that I go for. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't, I didn't say this on my channel, but you know the, um, the video that I just did where I did a 80s punk inspired makeup look? Um, from Stranger Things that um, what Eleven wore when she joined that group 
I did a video on that and you guys really liked it but exciting thing is that Allure uh, magazine the website actually wrote an article on it so um, that was so cool I'll leave the video here here somewhere I'm gonna leave the video and cards like in one of these corners and then um, you guys can check it out if you want um, and I'll leave the link to the article down below but it was so cool are you brushing your teeth mm -hmm. You haven't brushed your teeth this whole time? Mm -hmm. It's the afternoon. <laughs> Why are you hating? Because that's weird. Okay, and then I'm gonna be taking, I kind of like, I wanna try this color, like I normally wouldn't do this, but let's just try it. I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh no, I broke it a little bit. But anyways. It's so pretty. I mean, not going to be very noticeable because I have monolids, but makeup is just for me. Okay, now I'm going to do eyeliner. I'm taking my M Cosmetics eyeliner and I'm just going to make a wing. Alright, now I'm going to put on lashes using my Ardell Demi Wispies. I really wanna try new lashes, but it's very hard to find ones that I feel like fit my eye shape. And yeah, these are the only ones I found that are good quality, pretty affordable, and fit my eye shape. So if you guys have any suggestions or any of you monolid guys and gals out there have a good one that you guys like to use you should let me know because seriously every time I do a makeup tutorial these are the lashes I use I kind of have a interesting topic so well Corey's sleeping right now but yesterday me and Corey were oh by the way Corey's my roommate but we were like just sitting down and talking and we had a very interesting conversation. Okay, sorry, my lashes are done. This is what they look like. Let's pause on that for a second. I'm gonna be taking this, actually, let's do this first. I'm gonna be taking my Tarte bronzer. Um, this has been my go-to. I haven't been able to not use this. Like, I love it so much. Um, you guys should definitely recommend me some makeup new makeup that you want me to try because I use the same stuff like this is my favorite bronzer ever I haven't found anything that I like more than this and I feel like I need to try more stuff but I don't want to waste my money so if you guys have any suggestions um, please let me know <laughs> but anyways we had a really interesting conversation yesterday about the difference between having like a soulmate and then having if you believe in soulmates and having someone be like the love of your life and i feel like there's a huge difference between not a huge difference there is a yeah okay a huge difference between those two um i'm gonna be using this bronzer to also slim down my nose a little bit what i think having like what a soulmate is is like your the love of your life can be your soulmate but it doesn't have to be a soulmate for me could in my is someone like you love and like you vibe with and instantly click with and you're just together and everything and um but like you don't have to be in love with that person um whereas the love of your life is someone that you're in love with and then also I think that you could have multiple of those well I guess you could have multiple soulmates because you can click differently with different people and fall in love differently with different people yeah but I thought that was an interesting topic because I think a lot of people see um, soulmates as someone that you want to marry or um, 
are romantically involved with and I really don't think that's true like I think your best friend could be your soulmate but I'm gonna be taking this blush I haven't used this in so long it's the ginger and gold illuminating peach gold blush I don't know why they call it peach though because it's like a more dark rosy kind of color and I really like this blush because it also gives a really nice highlight and glow to the face Gosh, but I just put blush over my pimple. It's like really showing up now. <laughs> All right, now we're done with that. Let's do highlight. And this is the first time I'm gonna be using this. This is the Ofra um, highlighter called Beverly Hills. I'm just going to be lightly putting this on like right here and then on the tip of my nose. There's like a bunch of different colors in it. I don't know if I'm supposed to swish them all together, but I'm gonna take this top one. I don't want to switch them all together. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> That's too much. I'm going to do my lips and I decided to pick this color. Um, it's called Frickin' Frack by Colourpop. I haven't used this in a long time, but from the outside of the bottle, it kind of looks like um, the vintage rosewood color from M Cosmetics but we'll see. I, I actually kind of don't remember what it looks like on top of my lips. Oh wow, it does look very similar to Vintage Rosewood. I like to use my finger to apply lips, lip colors, cause I think it makes it look a lot smoother. So um, this is it. I, um, for my hair, I just, curled it a little bit and then I took this way mousse and I just put a very generous amount into my hair to kind of give it this like wet um messy feel <laughs> but yeah anyways I hope you guys liked this video um I'll definitely be having fashion videos coming up soon as well um come here <laughs> he's sleeping <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Do 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 do